Hi there, um, I'm Kalita, this is Silvana, and this is uh, Dylan. Uh, we created a menu and recipe generating app where you can create recipes and add them to a menu for an event. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create a recipe. So we're going to make uh, cheeseburgers. And that's American cuisine. Um, easy to make. Uh, 30 minutes. And it's going to be a main course. Not beef stock, but that's fine. <laughs> beef, yeah. And hamburger buns. Let's add hamburger buns to our ingredient list. All right. And go ahead and add the hamburger buns and create the recipe. Okay, so here's the recipe. Um, okay, so now we can create a menu. All right, so let's do a barbecue menu. Uh, barbecue with friends or something. We can give the menus descriptions uh, and we can add recipes to our menu. So let's add our hamburgers or cheeseburgers, whatever it is that we made. Okay. And let's add an appetizer, any appetizer, and a dessert. Apple pie. Yeah. Okay. So let's submit. And now we can see our menu. Okay. There you go. So you can create menus and print them out for parties. Yeah. Uh, so our app was built using Rails and in the back end and React in the front end. Um, I really like the, the drag and drop feature because I thought. It was like, it just used native HTML5, but it like showed how React work a lot. I think I learned a lot about React like doing that, so, yeah. uh, My favorite part was doing the React Slick, which is the slide show in the main page. I think it makes it look like a legitimate site. That's why I liked it. My favorite part was probably building this uh, search feature for the ingredients where you can like type stuff in and it'll filter the list in real time. So. You know, I start to type in AV and it'll get to avocado eventually and you can kind of narrow down what you want by that. I think that making sure that everything shows up the way you want it to without refreshing the page was pretty hard. We're using React and Redux, which is, um, in theory, it should allow things to pop up on the page without having to do like a hard refresh or reroute you or whatever. And sometimes we had trouble with that, I think. Yeah, and because it was a new technology, we had just learned it like that same week. We didn't know how to debug it, so that was difficult, yeah. A lot of Google search.